to the editor, re, anyone but Trump? Not so fast, column, Jan. 25. Brett Stevens argues that neither Bernie Sanders nor Elizabeth Warren would be sufficiently better than President Trump to deserve his vote. While acknowledging that President Trump is reckless and has repeatedly sought to do the wrong thing, he argues that Democrats must not nominate a reckless, i.e., too far left, candidate of their own, or, none of the above will be a viable option. But Mr. Stevens focuses on economic issues. Last week the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists moved the doomsday clock to 100 seconds to midnight, the closest it has ever been, because of the twin existential threats of nuclear weapons and climate change. When it comes to whose finger we want on the nuclear button, anyone but Trump is a strategy much more likely to improve our chances of survival. Thomas B. Newman San Carlos, Caliph. To the editor, Brett Stevens's final two paragraphs should be required reading for Democrats. He advocates attracting middle-of-the-road support, encouraging Democrats to issue polarization for persuasion and ideology for pragmatism. As a Republican, I remember that my party faced exactly the same choice in 2016. But rather than nominating an experienced, pragmatic centrist such as John Kasich, the party went the route of the reckless candidate to use Mr. Stevens's term. I hope Democrats realize that a candidate like Senator Amy Klobuchar is very appealing to those of us stuck in the middle, between the red and blue extremes. Jeff Kaler, Mount Holly, NC to the editor. What a stunningly toned F-line, yet, for the overwhelming majority of Americans, life is pretty much the same under Trump as it was under Obama, I am not a person of color, but I'm pretty sure life doesn't feel the same under a president who encourages white supremacists and speaks of people of color as criminals, gang members and invaders. I no longer have to make reproductive choices, but I'm pretty sure women who do have to face these choices don't feel that life is the same under Donald Trump as under Barack Obama. I'm not a Muslim, but I'm pretty sure life doesn't feel the same as it did before 2016 and the advent of travel bans and the demonization of that religion. I am Jewish, so I know for sure that rising anti-Semitism does, in fact, feel like a change. I can assure Brett Stevens that not losing a dollar from my 401k does not mean I have not lost something infinitely more valuable, my faith in my nation's moral compass. I find his statement a shameful shorthand for the absence of empathy. Thomas Orne Brookline, Mass. To the editor. Brett Stevens makes an understandable plea for Democrats, if they really want to topple President Trump in the 2020 election, to choose a candidate who is center-left, say Joe Biden or Pete Buttigieg or Amy Klobuchar, rather than someone on the far left, like Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren. What is not credible is Mr. Stevens's claim, the truth of Trumpism is that it's a morally corrosive and corrupting force, not a politically or economically catastrophic one. This is a false and pernicious distinction. Corrosion and corruption of core values of a society inevitably lead toward catastrophe in social, political and economic spheres as well. Adam Schiff is right, if truth no longer matters, we're lost. Daniel L. Milliore Princeton, NJ to the editor. Brett Stevens states that, as bad as President Trump is, he hasn't yet withdrawn from NATO, lifted sanctions on Russia or closed the border to all immigrants. Just the fact that Mr. Stevens mentions these ideas, which would have been absurd under any other president, indicates that these are real possibilities if Mr. Trump wins a second term. In fact, these actions would only be the beginning of what he might do. No hypothetical economic dislocation under Elizabeth Warren or Bernie Sanders could possibly be worse than that. Kenneth Neufeld Alplaus, NY Let's Block Ads. Why? 